Hello friends and welcome to Technet Corporation. It's a long day now since I haven't made any video. It was a long long time. I'm back again with another of my tutorials. And welcome to the C++ Beginners Tutorial for the CodeBlox IDE. So let's go on. So basically this video today I won't talk too much on VC time because it's too much irritating and no much I will lose much of my viewers if we talk like that. So basically today's video as you can see in the title and also uh, in the description uh, in the comment box everywhere you know that that today we're going to tell that how you can find the greatest of the three numbers in C++. Okay, uh, but before that as I saw uh, as you saw in the disclaimer of this video that this will only work if you use code blocks as an ID. This will also work for Turbo C++ but with some minor changes. Okay, so let so let's go on with code blocks. So we I saw I won't talk too much. Let's go on with the source code. Okay, and I will explain it to you, okay? So basically first you're going to type hash include iOS stream okay probably if you're finding the greatest of three numbers then probably you are familiar with C++ I must reckon that you are familiar with C++ that's why you're asking for quite a complex algorithm so I won't discuss how these work that what using namespace namespace and all these things work so let's go on using namespace std so basically we're going to create three integers which is a b and c but you can take anything you can take it as anything you can even take it as double let's remove int and take it as double so that it can take float variables now basically you can take it as abc or num1 num2 num3 or xyz anything like that i've taken abc and then let's start the program okay so let's start the program int main and then let's start so basically first of all you uh, you going to print something like on the screen c out enter the first number then you are probably going to give it not a line break probably sin a then this you are going to take c out you can even take all the three inputs together but I am going to make it a bit neat enter the second number you won't have any trouble typing because I enjoy typing you may also have a good type So I don't think there will be much trouble in that. Okay, so let's go on. So enter the second number, then sin b. Okay. You can even take all the three inputs together, but to making it neat, we are going to have enter the third number. And if you enjoy typing like me, then it's going to be fun for you to type in for coding. And the third number, absolutely sin. Okay, C. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have done a big fault over here. These pointy brackets actually should be in the opposite side and not like this. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, if you notice this, then sorry, you should have done this correctly. I see you okay now send c now the main thing comes you have uh, written that to take three numbers and also you have told uh, also taking input of these three numbers what what is the use of those inputs and those outputs if there is no algorithm in the program so this is the main thing first of all you have to decide what type of a program you want to make only which tells you the greater or the one which tells you even the equalities if these are equal or not okay so let's do okay let's do first of all we type if we are going to take a and b first as a comparison if a is greater than b we are going to have a nested if and type if a is also greater than c then we are going to give c out you can also give it like that for making neat I take C out and then 
the greatest is okay the greatest is a okay now we're going to give if a is greater than b and if all a is greater than c then it will print out that a is the greatest number that's simple but if a is not greater than c so we're going to use if a is not greater than c you might be thinking why i'm not using else because there is a reason for not using it okay we are going to just give it a C because it is time consuming to write a sentence because it's quite a long program. Now, I'm going to use else. E -L -S -E, else. Now I'm going to write with C out that A and C are equal okay so basically this what it tells it that it checks if a is greater than b then it checks if a is greater than c if yes it types a it prints a is the greatest if not it prints c as the greatest because if c is greater than a otherwise if both of these statements are not true but this one is true then it prints that a and c are equal because if probably if these two are not uh, correct then probably it has to be equal because either it is greater okay so C out A and C so as I told you if A is greater than C as I explained you all of these because if it either has to be greater or smaller otherwise it has to be equal because if this is true this is one part of our I want to say nested if now this one is done we want to check if what happens if this statement is that a is greater than b what if b is greater than a then what happens let's do that if b is greater than a we go if b is greater than c c out b if this one isn't true then probably what happens is if b is not greater than c then we check if b is less than c well if that one comes out as true we type c out c and again if these all comes as false then else we see out sorry else see out we see out that if uh, that B is equal to okay C sorry what I'm doing I don't know myself only is equal to C So basically what it does, okay, it just checks if A is greater than B, and if B is greater than A, then uh, it checks if B is greater than C, if B is greater than C, it's B, if C is greater than B, C, otherwise it is equal to C, and we print B is equal to C. Now, are all the possibilities over? I'm giving you a few time to think, that if are all the possibilities over? I will give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, all the possibilities are over. Because if it checks if A is greater than B, but, 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 what if A is equal to C? If A is equal to C, what about that? It's at first you're checking but what if b is the greatest but a and c are equal then we print b obviously no other possibilities let's compile it
Okay. Wait a second. Okay, in include I did double E. And in line number six I did some error there telling. Cine. Let's do it. Okay, I gave wrong pointy brackets. Sorry for these errors. So, let's check it. Enter the first number. We type 14. Enter the second number. We type 15. Enter the third number. We have 17. 17. We made our first program.